Bonjour et bienvenue sur Tescars. J'ai le plaisir aujourd'hui de vous présenter le Chocar qui roulera au Dakar 2025 avec la conférence de presse au départ, ensuite des questions-réponses et on terminera par trois interviews, celle de Sébastien Loeb, Christina Gutiérrez et Denis Levotte qui est le patron de chez Dacia. C'est parti la Sunrider recourra donc dans la catégorie Ultimate T1+. Elle dispose d'un châssis tubulaire, d'une carrosserie en fibre de carbone. Le moteur développe 360 chevaux à 5000 tours minute, dispose d'un couple max de 539 Nm. La boîte de vitesse est séquentielle à 6 rapports. Les suspensions sont à double triangulation. Suspension qui dispose d'un débattement de 350 mm. Des roues alu 17 pouces avec des énormes pneus BF Goodrich 37 pouces. Au niveau dimension, on est sur 4,14 m de long, 2,29 m de large et 1,81 m de haut. L'empattement est de 3 m. Le porte-à-faux avant est de 590 mm et 550 pour l'arrière. Alors pêle-mêle, je retiens que les sièges Sabel sont recouverts de tissus spécifiques, antibactériens et régulant l'humidité que les routes de secours ne sont pas carénées ou encore que les écrous de fixation peuvent être posés sur une zone magnétique et enfin que pour limiter la montée de la température au sein de l'habitacle, eh les concepteurs du Sunrider ont utilisé des pigments anti-rayons infrarouges inclus directement dans le carbone du véhicule. A savoir que le Sunrider a été équipé d'un moteur qui utilise un carburant de synthèse fourni par Aramco. Hello everyone and welcome to you all. It's a great pleasure to be here with you today. Last July, we made an announcement that took many by surprise, showing once again that we go where no one expects us. Dacia is joining the Dakar. We told you we'd be back in early 24 to tell you about the next step of this adventure. Well, here we are. Concretely, from 2025 onwards, we'll be competing in the World Rally Red Championship, culminating in the Dakar, as a manufacturer in the Ultimate T1 Plus category. There are two reasons for this commitment. The first reason, this race, the Dakar, is like us, Dacia. Dakar is an extraordinary human adventure that has brought together more than 60 nationalities and 500 adventurers for a unique competition every year for over 40 years. And this is the perfect match with Dacia's three brand markers, Robust and Outdoor, EcoSmart, and Essential Look Cool. The second reason why we're taking part in the Dakar, it is because Dakar, beyond technology, is an arrival life-size laboratory for carbon-free mobility. And paving the way for affordable, low-carbon mobility is precisely the mission of Dacia. But at Dacia, when we do things, we like to do them well. And going to Dakar, we have chosen the best partners. Alpine Racing, whose in-house technical expertise we benefit from. And also ProDrive, the British Motorsport and Engineering Group, our technical provider. Finally, Aramco, with whom we are working to democratize synthetic fuels. With them and our technical and design teams, we worked on the car its conception, its powertrain, its design, that you will discover today. And because a great car would be useless without the best crews, we've enlarged our team with the arrival of a new member, and not the least, you already know our first two crews, Cristina Gutierrez and Pablo Moreno, eight-time participants to the Dakar and the great winners of the 2024 edition in Challenger category. Sébastien Leuve and Fabien Lurquin. Sébastien won the World Rally Championship nine times in a row for 2004 to 2012. And we now have a third driver. We are delighted to welcome in our team the five-time winner of the Dakar, the two-time defending World Championship, Nasser Alatia. Nasser wasn't able to be with us today, but he left us a message, so let's watch the message. Hi everyone, uh, I am Nasser Alatia. Today, uh, I will be not uh, with you because I am in the middle of the desert uh, to preparation for the next race in the World Champion. Really, from my heart, I would like to be in this 
uh, presentation of uh, Dacia. Uh, but okay, I hope it will be uh, next time and soon also. I am really so happy to be part of the family of the Dacia, uh, to be with the best uh, pilot uh, in the world, uh, Sab and uh, Fabian, uh, and Christina uh, and Pablo. This is, will be the dream uh, team. I will do my best, you know, to be uh, always like number one. Yes, uh, my heart is will be uh, with you, uh, and uh, see you soon. Thank you so much. Well, many thanks, many thanks, Nasser, and welcome to the club. Dakar is all about adventure. Dakar is all about riding. Even I would say Dakar is all about riding in the sand. That's why we decided to call the team very simply the Dacia Sand Riders. With such a name, the team fully embodies the adventurous spirit of Rally Ren. And at the head of the Dacia Sand Riders is Tiffany Isda, team principal, and Philip Dunnevin, technical director, who is my pleasure to welcome to the show. I'm thrilled to be taking you on this adventure, and I guess you feel excited about joining the Dacia Sand Riders, don't you? Thank you, Denis. Thank you for your confidence. It's an honor to be part of the Dacia Sand Riders. I was born in the heart of the Alps. I grew up between the mountains and the sea. The family car loaded with skis and windsurfing boats. How long is my DNA? I'm delighted to be joining the Dacia family, to take on the Dakar the world greatest rally and its challenging championship, an extraordinary human adventure. Well, Tiffany and Philip, for those who haven't met you yet, please tell our guests a little about, about yourselves. Huh. My homeland is also home to the legendary WRC Monte Carlo Rally, a discipline for which I have always been passionate. I devoted the first 10 years of my career to it alongside Sebastian Love, with whom we will work all rally records. Uh, it's a pleasure to work with him again. Then, in 2017 and 18, we had two Dakar's victories with Stefan Peter Hansel and Carl Sainz, a story written with Philippe Dunedin. Thank you, Tiffany. I'm delighted that Dacia has given me the opportunity to promote the mark through the most adventurous of motorsport disciplines and to express Dacia values through the engineering of our new car. I worked in professional motorsports since 1985, particularly with Ford in rallies in the WRC and with Peugeot in raid rallies. I've held vehicle design, testing, event operations and program management roles in rallies and in circuit racing. Joining the Dacia Sand Riders is a great excitement for me. Okay, thank you very much. But uh, tell us, Philip, uh, you are not exactly a newcomer to Dakar, aren't you? No, I did not. My previous rain rally program was an excellent lesson in what to do and what not to do for a successful Dakar program. After a very difficult experience in Dakar 2015, I worked together with a technical team via a tough testing campaign to create a reliable, high performance car and build the confidence of the drivers and co-drivers to push for the maximum result. With three Dakar wins behind me, I think I have a good idea what's required in the package that can make Dacia a winner. And as for me, I want one of the first women to take on sporting responsibilities in Wally. First as a logistic manager, then sporting manager, and team manager, and now team principal. This evolution of about 15 years and almost 150 victories enables me to have a robust vision of the Wally competition. It also helps me to focus on the essentials to help the Dacia team perform and meet the challenge of low carbon mobility. Well, thank you very much, uh, Tiffany and Philip. Please stay with me. Now, please let me ask our Dacia design director, David Durand, to come on stage. Thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to introduce our new car designed to win. Sand Rider, let's discover it. has been 
Captain is fired by crew's feedback and matches both their expectation and Darcia's DNA. A performance and agility driven car entirely dedicated to racing, guided by essentialities and integrating crew's real needs while introducing innovation. The car retained the good technical features from the Hunter, maximizing the opportunities with the ultimate T1 Plus regulations. So, David, we will now leave you the floor. Please tell us everything about Sand Rider. So, let's start with the design. First, before any drawing, we were lucky enough to meet the crews, the driver and co-driver, and the engineers as well. We talked with them to understand their needs. Uh, and the specification of this amazing race. And we worked all together to co-create the best fitted car. That's why we quickly decided to go for a specific design totally dedicated to performance instead of adapting a Dacia road car. On the racing package, we would have created compromises. Of course, for everything we do in Dacia, we are driven by our brand values. As expected, being essential, robust and smart is exactly matching the racing match, uh, mindset. And what is more outdoor than this crazy adventure in the desert? We had not decided to go for Dakar without synthetic fuel that perfectly responds to our eco-research. And the result is pretty cool, no? So, let's go more into detail and give you examples that make Stasia Sunrider unique in the competition. Sunrider is essential but cool. First, what's essential when you're driving a car at 170 km per hour in the dunes? Visibility. Yes, you, you absolutely need to see where you put your wheels. That's why we've worked to provide the best and widest angle of vision possible. The vision is optimum thanks to the good conception and an anti-reflective painting on the dashboard, the technology used in the aircraft cockpit. Second, what else is essential for a driver in extreme condition? Making life easier for him, making everything simple and accessible, cool, according to his own needs and habits. That's why Sunrider can be fully customized. For example, the modular dashboard allows instruments, buttons and control panels to be fitted according to the habits of each driver and co-driver. Third, of course, essential also means avoiding the superfluous. So we removed everything that was not necessary. No surplus in body parts, no decorative elements to optimize the weight balance, making the car easier and safer to drive in extreme conditions. Sunrider is robust and outdoor. Imagine you have a flat tire in the middle of the dunes. Every second counts for the final result. That's why we designed Dacia Sunrider to be the ultimate outdoor vehicle robust and easy to maintain. Let me give you two examples. Access to spare parts is really smart. There's no longer any risk of losing a boat in the sand thanks to these super practical magnetic plates. <coughs> Access to spare wheels is really easy and quick as there's no fairing to remove and reattach. Another example. Imagine you're in the desert. It's very hot, you're sitting for hours in the same seat and you're sweating. What do you need at that moment? You need a specific seat covering. That's why we designed a self-regulating humidity and antibacterial material. And for sure, Sunrider is eco-smart. Our aim in designing this car was to optimize its performance in terms of energy consumption. Always talking into taking into account the extreme condition of the race, such as the outside temperature. To do so, we've been working on several levels. 
an efficient thermal management system based on the integration of anti-infrared pigments in the carbon fiber panels to reduce the car temperature. A patent has been filed for this innovation. A better aerodynamism, thanks to the shape of the body and the location of the spare wheels, which optimize air intake for engine cooling. This design also reduces overall lift and drag. And of course, Sunrider is eco-smart as it runs on low carbon energy, a synthetic fuel. So now, let's talk technology with Philippe Tonabel. I'm going to show you nearly everything we've done to optimize Sunrider. It's performance, driving comfort, safety, reliability, sustainability, its features as well. Dacia Sunrider Ultimate T1 Plus is a new design with improved attributes versus our benchmark car. It is not just a rebodied BRX Hunter. Dacia Sunrider builds on knowledge gained from the Hunter and then we've maximized the opportunities within the Ultimate T1 Plus regulations. All the main systems of the Dacia are new or at least significantly updated. So, to talk about the main elements of Sunrider, we've designed a lighter tubular steel chassis with more cockpit space and improved weight distribution. The chassis frame has an optimized, simpler construction. It's wider, stronger, and with a low center of gravity. Full final element stress analysis has allowed the suspension load input to be significantly increased and at the same time generate weight savings of around 15 kilos. The engine is all new. It's a 3-liter V6 twin turbocharged engine from the Alliance. This unit is more compact, lighter, and with a lower center of gravity than our benchmark. The unit has already undergone dyno testing and has demonstrated its capacity comfortably to meet the regulated FIA power and torque curves, which are around 265 kilowatts or 539 newton meters, whilst running at the same time on sustainable fuels. We've significantly improved the reliability of the four wheel drive transmission package. This means completely new, stronger front and rear axles and a repackaged gearbox with new casings. When we need to slow down, we have a new brake package with more rigid calipers, new discs, new pedal box, all aimed at giving a better brake pedal feel and requiring less effort from the drivers. Performance simulation has shown that an increased forward weight bias to improve traction would be a benefit. The new weight distribution has been achieved from work on the chassis frame the engine and transmission positions, together with changes to the crew and fuel tank installations. A significant amount of work has gone into our innovative electrical systems, with the capacity to provide the power to run multiple electric motors for engine cooling, steering, hydraulic jacks, air conditioning and so on. The new high output gear driven generator will also start the engine, saving the weight of a separate starter. We've worked hard on CFD analysis of the airflow around the car and flow through the front and rear mounted coolers. The improvements mean that the rear package alone has the capacity of the complete benchmark car. We have separate high and low temperature cooling circuits depending on each system's cooling requirements, but still with a simplified installation. The close collaboration between our drawing office and the Dacia design team has been a real success allowing us to meet both our technical and design objectives. One result is a big improvement in visibility for the driver when navigating the dunes and steep or narrow tracks. Another example is in the aerodynamic performance. At first sight, we could imagine that the aero performance of the Dacia would be not as good as our benchmark, but this isn't true. Modifications to the Dacia design concept verified through a comprehensive CFD program have allowed us to make significant lift and drag reductions via a subtle integration of a rear wing and adapting the body design features to condition the airflow for improved aerodynamic performance and cooling performance. 
So to conclude, we've analyzed our benchmark car, we've set ambitious objectives for Dacia Sandride, we've retained the good attributes and improved all the weak points. The base is very solid. We have a very competent technical team who've worked hard to deliver this new car. And so, we're moving now to the prototype build and testing phase, and then, after several thousand kilometers of hard driving, we'll be ready to show what Dacia can do in this tough environment. A quick car is good for Dakar. A reliable quick car is what we need to win. Designed by uh, our internal Dacia team, we are pretty happy with the results. The suits and uh, the logo both uh, reflect some rider graphic codes and visual identity. The first time we met, you told me that you rarely had the opportunity to be involved in the design of the vehicles you, you drive. We were very curious to discuss with you and understand better the, the, the racing condition, your needs and expectations for the, the, the future car. You gave us many ideas and overall we had a, a lot of fun uh, finding the good uh, solutions. Christina, looking back, what do you think? Well, it was uh, nice for us to give them our experience uh, in the desert, in these conditions. And in my case, I suggested to, to put the magnetic plate um, to try to not lose a lot of nuts because in my past I lose a little bit of them. So it's good to try to not lose a lot of time due to this. Mm, yeah. And, and what about you, Sebastian? Do you remember uh, of our exchanges before starting the, the drawings? I remember a lot of discussions uh, about many things uh, of the car. Uh, one of the main things for me to increase the performance was the visibility uh, because we struggle sometimes in the dunes to see exactly where we, we go and so it, it was a point that we, we spoke a lot about. Uh, we made some tests uh, in the car with the vision and so on so we tried really to optimize this point and uh, I think it will be really a benef uh, benefit. Many thanks to you all. We are so excited. We've got everything we need to win. Many thanks, David, Christina and Sebastian. Before we move on the Q&A session, let me tell you about the next steps ahead. While we are introducing Sound Rider, the team is hard at work, assembling the first car for the first shake done in March. We will be ramping things up during the 24 season with the first phase of development by the end of the semester on rough track. We will have perfect condition to test the robustness of the car. After this development phase, we will move to Morocco for three accurate sessions on Junes, Camel, and uh, some Camel Brasserie and Sun. The real race condition to make a car entirely dedicated to racing. This intense preparation program will guide us to reach a high level of performance. Our goal is to have everybody involved, ready to take on the challenge. Driver in full harmony with the car, co-drivers in full confidence with their navigation skills, and the team fully focused around the reliability of the car. Our first full-scale race will be ready Maroc in October 24 the opportunity to earn the team skills before the first major event, the Dakar 2025. It will be the only goal award of the W2RC World Championship, in which we will compete for two full seasons until the Dakar 2027. I can't wait to share with you this great adventure, essential golf pool, rugby standard and definitely a cosmos. Thank you all for your enthusiasm for the Dacia Sound Riders. Thank you, thank you. Jose. Um, we will start the Q&A session. We've been working on, the, on, on this program, uh, I think, more than one year now. Um, and as I explained, it was very useful because we knew uh, the, the crews 
uh, before the first drawing, and we had the, really the opportunity to to, to co-create this car with, with them, to uh, to exchange on on what are the difficulty of this race, and uh, and try to uh, to embed in our design some solution that will make them their their life uh, easier in the race, and and so uh, the best condition to to win, of course. Yeah, it's, it's really between turbo V6 engine. We are, we are not completely focused on 2029, as you can imagine. <laughs> so we will see when the time comes. But we are 200% focused on 2025. So we, we, are, we are really starting the uh, adventure of the Dakar. It's important to understand that if we do that, it's for, it's for two main reasons, right? The first reason is that we want to show what the brand is. We call ourselves robust and outdoor, right? We call ourselves essential and cool at the same time. And what better than this car and us participating to the Dakar can show uh, the world what we are doing. After that, it's a sport. Maybe I would give to Tiffany the answer to your question, what is the expectation we have? We are all competitors, so for sure when we are take part on this uh, great adventure at the Dakar, so we are here to, to, to win, but uh, we have to be humble. Uh, face of this great and challenge, yes. Yes, for sure. Uh, the goal is to, to win. Um, I think we we were not far of being able to win it until now, but uh, we were missing some some details, some things, and and I think now with this new car, uh, we worked a lot uh, with uh, all the staff to to try to optimize all the, the things that made that we were not able to win until now. So. I'm quite confident uh, with all the preparation we will have to, to be ready for the Dakar 25. Thank you, Sebastian. Christina? Yes, for me, uh, I think we, we should go step by step. Uh, I think we have the best weapons to, to try to, to be competitive. This is the thing that we are going to try and for sure to, to learn about the drivers because uh, alongside Seba and Nasser it will be very nice to, to share the team with them. Thank you, Christina. Keep the microphone. We have another question for you. Uh, from uh, Marie-France Estenev. I will try to translate the question. So, uh, you will run for upper uh, category. So, do you have some special training session? Yeah, for sure it's uh, different. No? The car is totally different. Uh, uh, the physical training and the mental training is a little bit different. but. I'm very prepared and ready to, to take the step. Uh, I have been driving the T1 in the past, but for sure we will do my best to, to be competitive in, in this car and in this category. You probably know uh, when we did some time ago uh, a, a, a concept car to explain what, what, what DASA is, uh, we put one question to the designer saying, I want you to show what we think uh, when we say that the cars are robust when the cars are outdoor. I want you to show what we think when the cars are essential but cool at the same time. And here we put, for this car, another question. We put another question, which is, just do the car that will fit best to the competition. And period, nothing else. Because we're here to win, listen to the drivers, listen to the crews, listen to the engineers, listen to the professional, and answers all the questions. The funny thing is that what we have at the, at the end is this. This is very, very big but it's completely 200% uh, Dacia DNA and we are very proud of Sam Ryder. Is it possible to find the same, uh, find the name as Sam Ryder uh, in the future uh, in Dacia Sumo? Oh, never said never, never said never. But, but of course the concentration of today is not, is not exactly this one, as you can imagine, right? So this is not manufactured in the Dacia factory yet. Uh, but we will see. But we will see the future. So we are totally 200 percent, of course, concentrated on competition so far. But time will tell. Est-ce que, est-ce que vous auriez pu gagner avec plus d'aide des autres voitures français? Uh, this year, if I could win with more help of the other car, the team. Um, difficult to say. Uh, I think we were suffering with our weak point that we know since a few years. Uh, the car is not maybe robust enough on the um, suspension side. Uh, we have a lot of puncture because we hit the tire with the exhaust. That's things that we, we couldn't change for, for now. So uh, for sure it would be more safe to have a car just behind for, for the help like Audi did. Uh, but we were not in these conditions. So uh, I cannot say I would have 
won for sure. Uh, I think Lord Godi was really strong and it was very difficult for us to, to beat them. So, no, it's no, no regrets. We, we tried what we could and, and yeah, we finished still on the podium and uh, let, uh, let's try again next year. No, when we started Manifesto, we were concentrated on Manifesto, but we started uh, Dakar uh, sooner after, and of course the two projects were, were, had an influence uh, each other, uh, on each other, and uh, that's why you, you can see some similarities, but apart being some laboratory of innovation uh, uh, of Dacia, uh, there is nothing in common in terms of um, uh, first the proportion, you see this car, 2 meter 0.3 wide, uh, it's, it's another, uh, uh, it's another a animal and it's really uh, shaped to, uh, to pass the dune and to be as fast as possible in the, in the desert. So, um, yeah, uh, that, that's, um, uh, that has nothing to do with, uh, with the manifesto. I think uh, our priority now is to, to work hard on the car and to get it ready for uh, Morocco at the end of the season and, uh, and especially for the Dakar next year. So um, I don't have many other plans uh, around that. Uh, we will concentrate on the development of the car. We will have quite a lot of test sessions and uh, work to prepare it. So yeah, that's, that's the plan at the moment for me. Thank you. Well, uh, as Seb said, it's the main plan, but for sure uh, my position is different because I need to, to train a bit more and um, also in another competition I think we will do some World Rally Ride Championship uh, and then uh, for sure Extreme is uh, also a good moment to, to train and to, to drive a car, so in my case it's this. Uh, honestly, it was, uh not difficult to, to choose this project because uh, uh, I think you understood that it's a, a real uh, professional project uh, with a full investment from uh, Dacia and a real brand in the project so uh, I had for sure different opportunities uh, but um, to use the, the experience of our actual car with a brand new project I was thinking it's the, the best choice I, I can do to, to have a, a maximum of, of chances, to optimize the chances to, of winning the Dakar. So uh, honestly the, the choice was quite easy for me. You competed with uh, Christina in Extreme. Can you tell us a little bit, a few words about uh, Christina? About Christina? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, she's just, just next to me so I can say only good things. Huh? Um, but uh, no, I think uh, Christina uh, is improved a lot since we, we started the first year in Nixrumi. Uh, she's driving a lot, she has very good skills. She understands really well how to improve, she knows how to work to improve. And uh, now she starts to have a, a good experience in the Dakar, in, in cross country also. So I think, uh, I think for her it will be a, for sure a, a step to come in the T1 Plus. But on another side, uh, it's, not, it's not much more complicated to, to drive than a, a T3 and she won the T3 in the Dakar this year. So uh, it means that she, she's able to do it and I, I trust uh, that uh, she will be very competitive. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Any other question? Uh, what do you think about me? <laughs> to say because uh, he helped me, as you know, from the beginning and I'm very grateful that. <laughs> uh, it's uh, for sure he said he's number one, but I want also to be number one, so... Uh, but you know, it's, it's not... Uh, we, we can work together. Uh, it's not like a racing or a rally cross or things like this. When we are in the car, we are just me and, and Fabian trying to do our best doing the same in, on his side, so it's not direct competition uh, the, for sure. If he beats me, I cannot be angry against him, I can't be angry against me. So it's uh, always in a good atmosphere and uh, I'm sure we'll do a good job to, together. Bonjour Sébastien. Bonjour. On est à quelques jours après la fin du Dakar. Quel est votre état d'esprit aujourd'hui Bon, L'état d'esprit euh, est toujours le même. On, je pense qu'on a fait un beau Dakar, on a prouvé qu'on était dans le coup, on a prouvé qu'on avait 
toujours deux trois petits soucis euh, à, à régler et puis euh, mais, mais voilà on, fait, on finit sur le podium on a fait euh, une belle course une belle bagarre donc euh, c'est vrai que je reste sur, euh, sur euh, un goût positif et au prix, si on devait retenir qu'une seule chose du chauffeur qui est derrière vous ce serait bah, une seule chose, je dirais le, le style original. Euh, voilà, après, si pour rentrer dans les détails, on peut, mais je dirais que le style original est sympa. Eh bien, écoutez, je vous souhaite le meilleur avec Dacia. Merci. Et bonne continuation. Bah, C'est gentil, merci. Hola, Christine. Hola, aquí estamos. Eh, Puedes presentar, por favor. Mi nombre es Cristina Gutiérrez y soy piloto de Dacia Rally Ride Team, el próximo Dakar. Vale, perfecto, gracias. Y si tuviéramos que recordar solo una cosa por el, vuestro proyecto, ¿qué sería? Bueno, yo creo que la ilusión que ha puesto todo el equipo en tener el coche preparado y estar en las mejores condiciones para intentar ganar el Dakar y, por supuesto, el nivel de pilotos que, con los que voy a compartir equipo, que ahora mismo son Sebastián y Nasser los mejores del mundo, así que muy contenta. ¿Y ¿Cuál es el resultado de este año? Pues eh, hemos conseguido ganar eh, el Dakar en la categoría Challenger, así que muy contenta y muy feliz de, de terminar así mi etapa en Challenger y pasar a, a Ultimate, que es la categoría máxima. Perfecto. Muchísimas gracias. Continúes bien y hasta la próxima. Hasta la próxima. Denis, bonjour. Vous êtes euh, donc le directeur de Dacia. Que pouvez-vous nous dire sur ce showcar de Dacia Sandriders, s'il vous plaît Bonjour, bonjour à tous. Alors, Dacia Sunrider, en fait, c'est la voiture qui va permettre à Dacia de se présenter au rallye Dakar 2025. C'est donc un concentré de ce qu'est Dacia. Vous savez, Dacia, c'est euh, le fabricant de voitures qui sont à la fois robustes et outdoor pour l'utilisation en extérieur. C'est le fabricant des voitures qui sont essentielles, hein, des voitures simples, mais hyper cool. Et franchement, quand on se dit euh, robuste, outdoor, essentiel et cool, regardez la voiture. Et donc, c'est une évidence, on a choisi de se présenter au Dakar 2025 et Sandrider sera notre voiture. Avec une équipe de pilotes incroyable. Alors quand on fait les choses, on essaye de les faire bien. Euh, on a donc mis tout notre engagement euh, dans le Dakar, à la fois avec euh, euh, l'équipe technique ProDrive, à la fois avec euh, Alpine Racing évidemment qui nous apporte beaucoup. On va aussi le concourir avec des carburants synthétiques hein, puisque avec Aramco, la voiture sera équipée de, de carburants synthétiques et évidemment, comme on s'engage, comme on est vraiment convaincu qu'on va y arriver, on a attiré les meilleurs talents, le meilleur pilote, hein, avec Sébastien, avec Nasser et avec Christina, et on en est bien sûr extrêmement fiers. Et si aujourd'hui on ne devait retenir qu'une seule chose de ce projet, ce serait ah, Je crois que ce projet, en fait, il symbolise exactement la dynamique de la marque Dacia. La marque Dacia est évidemment une marque qui monte commercialement, c'est aussi une marque qui offre de plus en plus à ses clients, et euh, cette voiture, c'est un concentré de Dacia qu'on va montrer à tous nos clients, 15 millions de clients à travers l'Europe. Et évidemment, cette année sera pleine de surprises concernant Dacia, le lancement de cette voiture et la préparation du Dakar, mais aussi dans tous nos showrooms, avant l'été, le lancement du nouveau Duster, qui, comme vous le savez, est très très attendu par tous nos clients. Merci Denis. Je vous en prie. Et du succès pour cette aventure. Merci beaucoup. Merci à vous. J'espère que la vidéo vous aura plu. Si c'est le cas, n'hésitez pas à vous abonner, à liker et à la commenter. Et quant à moi, je vous dis à très vite pour de prochaines aventures automobiles. Ciao